Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. Today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite molecules. This towards a place of the thinking I dissect Where heaven's been spent and hell is what's left No will to go on but the strength that I... So today I'm going to talk about some of my favourite molecules These oils are in no particular order uh, I am going to talk about base notes, top notes, heart notes And they are going to be mixed So just to make you aware of that But first, dehydromersinol Dehydromersinol is a fantastic... Um, molecule it's a top note it's incredibly fresh you're not going to smell many molecules that are fresher than dehydromersinol it's a perfect blend of lemon and lime it has a very narcotic smell it's really beautiful um, it was heavily used during a certain period in commercial fragrances and if you smell dehydromersinol you'll be able to see why once you know what you're smelling it's very very distinctive you will be able to pick it up in a number of other perfumes a fantastic molecule next up we have undercavitol and undercavitol is one of my favorite violet molecules it's not just a floral it's very very green it has that specific quality of freshness that kind of invigorates you wakes you up and the green aspect has enough of a soul to encourage your imagination to conjure up images of nature so it definitely doesn't smell too synthetic it's definitely more like a natural uh, oil to me guayacol is a fantastic smoky note it's definitely the best smoky note I've come across. It's a fantastic molecule. Um, you know, it's definitely, it's, it's much better than using something like cared oil or birch tar in my, uh, in my opinion, uh, because it's just much more perfume friendly. And it, you know, it has other notes in there as well. I think that cared oil just smells a little bit too much like tar. Um, and, and you know not that smoky factor that you're trying to get into a perfume if you're trying to make an incense perfume you kind of want the smell of burning uh, you want the smell of embers from a fire you don't really want to smell tar uh, and I just think that this is a really good compromise because you do have aspects of something like cade oil but also alongside something like guaiac wood which is definitely more smoky bacon uh, you know smoked foods type of a vibe um, but this one is just really really fantastic I think it's much more suave it's quite sexy in the same way that I find cinnamon leaf to be sexy and if you're not familiar with cinnamon leaf it smells a lot more clove like and I think there is definitely a clove element to uh, guaiacol it's fantastic though really really sexy I would say it's masculine but it can easily be feminine and you don't need a lot of it to get it into the perfume it works really well blends well with other oils and you know definitely my go-to smoky molecule methyl cinnamate is another cinnamon molecule but it has notes of strawberry uh, cherry it's balsamic um, it's definitely you know I appreciate the complexities of this molecule you know over any other cinnamon molecule uh, you know I think it has much more character it's definitely more interesting and I think it can just blend well with um, you know a bigger scope of other notes so this is definitely my go-to cinnamon molecule and I think it's a great one to use for incense because of its complexities it definitely um, has a lot more depth I feel than just a generic cinnamon molecule or even cinnamon essential oil or you know something similar I definitely appreciate its complexities and um, yeah I think that's essentially what I like about it it's just a little bit more complex it has that cherry uh, vibe to it it has the balsamic the the strawberry note and um, it's all kind of beautifully combined as well it doesn't smell feminine because of the cherry or the strawberry it definitely has a unisex vibe uh, and I definitely have images of incense when I smell it so you know I'm a lover of incense so it's kind of why I really like this one because it's definitely something you could use in an incense perfume. Lilial is banned in Europe although you know you can widely buy it in Europe um, I guess it just relates more to the fact that it's banned by IFRA but 
I don't sell perfumes, and if you don't sell perfumes, then you can use uh, Lilial. But, you know, just be aware, uh, some people have sensitivities to Lilial, uh, which is one of the reasons why it's banned. But Lilial is such a fantastic smelling uh, material. It's Lily of the Valley. It's so fresh. It's watery. It has aspects of light. It's extremely feminine. I only ever use a couple of drops or so, uh, and you know, that's enough to really elevate your florals. It really helps give your perfume a backbone, especially if you have a really floral perfume. It's super fresh, super clean smelling. It's super smooth, super feminine. Um, definitely airy, breezy. It's an extremely addictive molecule. It's just that beautiful. It always makes me think of a woman in a summer setting um, in a white dress with the purest and cleanest of skin. And, you know, it just makes me imagine a, a light breeze just lifting up her dress slightly. It just, that's, that's kind of what it, what it gives to me. It gives me this sort of purest, most feminine uh, image, you know. Uh, it's just, you know, wonderful to smell. And the last molecule that I want to mention today is Padma. Padma has the smell of uh, the, the green stem of a flower. And, you know, for obvious reasons, it sort of gives you the image of uh, a flower shop. It's just a fantastic uh, molecule, though. It's watery. Uh, it's extremely green. It's extremely fresh. It's exactly what I imagine a fairy tale forest to smell like. It also, in a nutshell, gives the impression of um, a very complex uh, incense. So, you know, a fantastic one to use if you want to make an incense type smell, an incense type fragrance. It just it, it just has all those elements of uh, spiciness and it has the freshness. It's very invigorating. It's green. Um, you know, it's just... Uh, it's a very lively molecule. It's definitely uh, a, a molecule that has a lot of presence. It has a soul, it's complex. It's also described as being a little mushroomy. And if you get past the image of a flower shop, you can definitely uh, get that mushroom vibe. If you smell some champignon oil uh, and, and then you smell um, Padma, you'll, you'll definitely be able to recognize that quality to the overall fragrance. It's not um, mushroomy room in a very potent way it's not unpleasant and it's certainly not something you'll pick up straight away you'll definitely get that overall flower stem aroma but just smell a bit past that and you'll definitely pick up the mushroom note but you know again just another testament to its complexities it's a fantastic molecule and something that will give a lot of complexity to your perfume that's all I have for today. I'll be posting some more videos with some more of my favorite molecules because there are a lot. I'll also be posting some videos with regards to naturals and I'll be sharing some more formulas. So thanks for watching. As always, have fun making perfume and I'll see you again shortly.